Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to count the number of observations. Um, it can be just the number of observations or based on certain condition. Uh, so for that, we are going to import a data set, which is the auto data. And we are going to use the count command. So this count command, if we do not give any other options, we just write the count command, it would just give us the number of observations, which isn't much useful. But we can use certain conditions to, uh, uh, to to make it useful. So let's just say if we want to count the number of observations based on certain condition. So we are going to use, write the word count, which is the command name, and then we are going to specify the condition. So if price is greater than 5,000, so that would count the number of cars that have a price greater than 5,000. So we know that there are 37 cars whose price is greater than 37. We can also use uh, double equal to sign, which is used for equality. So if we count, if um, count the cars that have a repair record equal to four, and that would give us 18. We can also count based on certain category. So we know that there is a foreign variable and what it shows is that whether the car is produced domestically or in a foreign country. So what we want is we want to count uh, if the price is greater than or equal to 5,000, right? So count if price is greater than or equal to 5,000, but we want to do that for each category of the foreign variable. So in this case, we just have two categories, but you might have more than two categories. So we say that for each category, execute this command. And it shows us that there are 23 of, of or cars that have a price greater than or equal to 5,000 and they are produced domestically. There are 14 ca foreign cars that have a price greater than or equal to 5,000. We can also limit uh, the, we can also specify the condition and limit uh, that condition to a certain number of rows. So for example, count if price is greater than 5,000, but just count this, just apply this command uh, in one in row one to 30. So it just take the first 30 rows and apply this, this command. So it is telling us that there are 15 cars whose price is greater than 5,000. We know from our previous uh, command that there are 37 cars in total, but these 15 are those that are in within the first 30 rows. We can specify multiple conditions. So count if price is greater than uh, 5,000 and repair record is equal to three. So this would tell us whether both of these condition, whenever both of these conditions are met, how many cars do we have? Uh, that, uh, that means both of these conditions. We can also use uh, or condition, which would mean that if price is greater than 5,000 or the repair record is equal to three, and we know that there are 54 cars. We can count missing values. And if we just do summarize, we would know that each variable do have 74 observations except for the repair variable. There are certain missing values in the repair variable. So what if we wanted to count the missing values? So count if the repair is equal to uh, dot and dot stands for missing. So that is what we know that there are five missing values or we could have used count if and missing within parentheses we would write the name of the variable so count if uh, repair 78 is missing and that would give us the same value uh, whatever value we get from this count uh, command uh, this value is so stored in some kind of a scalar and we can access that scalar using a return list and we know uh, now we know that this value 5 is stored in this specific scalar and we can access the value of from that scalar uh, and store it in some kind of a variable or whatever function we want to perform uh, but you would have to access this value and we can access this value using this uh, we know that it is a scalar so if you want to learn more about Scalar, do watch our video on Scalar and Macros. So thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe and do hit the bell icon.